Make sure you check out our culture values, read our blog, watch a couple videos before your interview, and come prepared with a variety of questions to ask your interviewers and to cover during the coffee chat. Hi, my name is Leslie Chow and I'm a tech recruiter here at Cockroach Labs. At Cockroach Labs, we're really diligent about making sure we get through applications in a timely manner and that we respond to everyone who applies. You could potentially expedite getting on our radar or just better prepare yourself for interviews by leveraging information that you find on LinkedIn. I suggest starting with your own network and seeing if any of your personal connections actually do work at Cockroach Labs. You can, of course, also reach out to individual Cockroach Labs employees you find on this page, but it is important to remember that not everyone is active in their LinkedIn an inbox. Finally, you could always reach out to me. Just let me know that you found me through this video and I'm always happy to share tips and tricks on interviewing. Our hiring philosophies really mirror our people-centric culture and values, and we want our interview process to reflect that as well. So since the beginning, we've looked for innovative ways to reduce bias and create a better, more equitable, and more inclusive way of hiring that results in a diverse workforce. We've developed a couple of ways to do this. One, expectations-based job descriptions. Two, a resume-less interview process. Three, exercise-based interviews. And four, an open source interview guide. Expectations-based job description means that all of our job descriptions should give you a pretty good idea of the team and role responsibilities, what experience you'll need to be successful in the role, and what a hypothetical first 30, 60, 90 days on the job might look like. All of our interviews are conducted virtually and at a high level, all the processes follow the same basic structure no matter what the role is. It will always start with a 30 minute recruiter phone screen. Your resume will only be reviewed during this recruiter phone screen stage. And once that pre-assessment is completed, it will be hidden from your interviewers until after your interviews are over. This is to challenge unconscious bias and allows the interviewer to fully focus on evaluating your direct application of the skills required for the role and how you collaborate and in turn, you can feel confident knowing that the interviewer is not coming in with any preconceived notions about things you can't control. After the recruiter phone screen, you'll have a one hour long hiring manager interview or a take home project that will take place of that hiring manager interview and one of your virtual face-to-face -face interviews. The virtual face-to-face -face interviews are composed of three or four one hour long interviews with folks who would either be on your direct team or who would partner with you cross-functionally. The interviews themselves will be exercise-based, role-relevant, and collaborative. Following the virtual face-to-face -face interviews, the recruiter will facilitate a hiring committee review with all the interviewers and the comprehensive feedback. And by the end of that meeting, they'll come to a consensus as to whether or not they'd like to move to the final steps. During this stage, we'll also send you a candidate feedback survey so that we can continue to improve our process based on what works well and what doesn't. If the hiring committee gives us the green light to move forward, then the final step is for the interviewer to speak with two professional references of your choice. To alleviate some of the stress of interview prep, we've decided to open source our interview process and prep materials in a GitHub repository that is available for the public. You should check it out when you have a chance. The interview guide has a lot of great advice, but here are a couple of key insider tips. Be honest and transparent about what you do and don't know. And if you don't know something, don't just get frustrated and give up. We would much rather see how you tackle the challenge and use your resources to solve the problem than to not do anything at all. Don't be afraid to ask clarifying questions and take the time to think things through before jumping in to solve a problem. Get to know us and come prepared to your interview. Cockroach Labs was built on a community-oriented philosophy and we love it when people are excited about what we're up to and enthusiastic about the prospect of being a part of it. Make sure you check out our culture values, read our blog, watch a couple of videos before your interview, and come prepared with a variety of questions to ask your interviewers and to cover during the coffee chat. When thinking of questions to ask your interviewers, the most important thing to consider is what matters to you and anyone else who's involved in your decision-making process. To get you started, think about your current or previous roles. What did you like or what was missing from those that you'd like to see in your next opportunity? What maybe didn't work so well that you want to avoid in the future? Finally, what kinds of testimonials about what would be most informative to you and who do you need to hear it from? Our four core values at Cockroach Labs are to commit to excellence, communicate honestly and openly, respect each other, and establish balance. All four of these are fundamentally human-centric and really emphasize our goal of creating a safe, inclusive space for all. My own interview experience at Cockroach Labs was a big deciding factor for me in joining as a recruiter. Hopefully, you'll find our process as rewarding as I did. Thank you so much for tuning in and best of luck.